Greetings to all the lovely people of the British Empire, the colonies, and elsewhere around the globe. Welcome to the Geek Cupboard. I am Sir Penge Pendle Bridge Smythe. This fine day we shall be taking an informed look at the newfangled video game contraption that goes by the name of Pong. But first, please stand for the national anthem. Splendid. Now, let us discuss Pong. We shall display it upon your television set for your perusal. Note that there are two paddles and a ball. We shall take control of one of the paddles you see before you, the one to the right, and we are only able to move our paddle vertically. It is important to note that when in motion, the ball bounces off of the paddles. The purpose of the game is to hit the ball with your paddle in such a way that your opponent cannot return it, therefore scoring a point in a very similar way to the popular sport table tennis. If it helps, think of the ball as freedom that the colonies are trying to attain. Your job, as a proud member of the British Empire, is to return that freedom ball right back at them into their faces. If the freedom ball gets past your paddle, then the colonies get much closer to freedom, which is clearly unforgivable and must be avoided at all costs, lest the glorious British Empire crumble and fall. God save the King! In this footage, taken with express permission of both the Crown and the Government, you can observe the action of a game of Pong for your very selves. A warning, this action does get rather fast-paced, so those of you with weaker constitutions may wish to be seated. Goodness me, this really is a smashing spectacle to behold. I very nearly dropped my cup of tea. As we can see, this is a very advanced game which perfectly demonstrates the power of British computing technology. The computronic device that houses this particular game of Pong is quite large. Estimates put it at almost the same size as Hampshire, but for all the merriment we have had with it here today, I think you will agree that it is indeed a worthwhile venture. That concludes our look at Pong. We hope you find it most informative and a little whimsical. A great many thanks for joining us today within the confines of the Geek Cupboard. We hope to see you in the future for more news of a technological nature. Goodbye.